welcome back to my channel so today in this video we'll see the cdma channels which are there in wireless system so cdma uses different kinds of frequencies and operates uh, within different channels so there are basically two different types of channels in cdma those are forward channels and reverse channels so uh, in this video let's see uh, what are these two channels and what it comprises of so let's begin so basically the first channel that cdma has got is the forward cdma channel and so it has got a uh, sub four channels inside that so the very first one in that is the pilot channel so uh, what it does it it allows the mobile station to obtain a timing information which is needed to forward the cdma channel so basically the timing information is stored in that and also it allows the mobile to make any comparisons uh, between different signal strengths so that the base station can initiate or ascertain the handoff as and when required so uh, those two functionalities are handled by the pilot channels next coming you have the synchronization channel so it broadcast messages to the mobile station with respect to synchronization so it uh, deals with the timing and it works at a speed of about 1200 bits per second Next, you have some paging channels. So uh, those in forward CDMA channel is of seven in numbers. So there are seven paging channels. So it transmits the paging messages from base station to mobile and it works at the speed of 9600, 4800, 2400 bits per second. Next, we have forward traffic channels. Those are 63 in number and it supports the user data rates at speed of 14400, 7200, 3600, 1800 bits per second and so uh, this data rates or this forward traffic channels are mainly is used to facilitate additional parameters with 8 kbps vocoder so uh, that is a feature which is available with uh, forward traffic channels uh, in forward CDMA channel so if you have 8 kbps vocoder you get additional parameters for supporting additional training data or flag data for any future activities uh, next we have the reverse CDMA channel so uh, what it basically does is it has got certain functionalities so basically it groups the user data into 20 millisecond frames on the reverse channel so that is the very first activity which is done by the reverse CDMA channel then after grouping it does the encoding of all the data which are sent on the reverse channel and then it does the block interleaving means it just separates the data uh, based upon some parameters and then it does the modulation and the modulation is done by a 64 array orthogonal modulation this we saw in the frequency of CDMA uh, we have two techniques in that uh, with the IS95 standard so it does with the uh, same principle next it distributes uh, before the data transmission so it spreads the data evenly before it's being transmitted so here uh, in uh, reverse CDMA channel the user data is uh, sent at a rate of 13, 200, 9600, 4800, 2400 or even 1200 bits per second on the reverse channel so uh, this reverse CDMA channel is comprised of two channels basically that is we have the access channel which are called as ACs then you have the reverse traffic channel which are called as the RTCs so uh, this RTCs and uh, ACs on the uh, same CDMA channel share the same frequency assignment so you need not have any uh, different or specific frequency assignment for these two channels now to comment or a uh, few facts regarding the AC that is the access channel so it is identified by a long distinct user code so uh, if something is there on the channel and if you encounter a long user uh, distinct code that means it is the access channel uh, and it is used in conjunction with the base station uh, by the mobiles to interact and reply to the paging channel messages so uh, that's very much useful uh, when you consider in the paging channels so the reverse CDMA channel has got 32 ACs per paging channel so that is a standard which is given by the CDMA and whereas uh, in method of operation RTCs operate on variable data rates means it has different data rates to operate but ACs operate with a fixed data rate at a fixed uh, point of time so well that was uh, all regarding the different types of CDMA channels which are there in the wireless system so hope you guys enjoyed this we found got educated watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider do subscribing thank you very much for watching this video